<clears throat> Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem is uh, determining the maximum uh, force P that can be applied without causing movement of a 250 pounds crate that has the center of gravity at G. The coefficient of static friction at the floor is mu S equal to 0.4. Right. And uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Tibela. So we are dealing with <coughs> uh, drive friction and uh, this is uh, the force that resists the movement of uh, two contacting surfaces uh, that slide relative to each other. This is a force that resists uh, the movement of uh, two contacting surfaces that slide relative to each other. You know the problems that we're going to be looking at in this particular chapter we are going to encounter three types three types the first one is where we experience no impending motion okay no impending motion in this particular case we expect the number of unknowns number of unknowns to be less than or equal to the number of uh, equations of equilibrium okay and uh, this simply means we are able to solve the problem with uh, the available equations of equilibrium and after I've done so we will need to once the condition once the type is under this and uh, no impending uh, motion then we need to check for slip at uh, the contacting surfaces so if f is less than mu n then we are sure that there's not going to be any slip the second problem is where we have impending motion this is where we have impending motion at some uh, contacting points okay or surfaces all right so this is where we have some uh, motion at some, not all of them, but some, okay? And in this case, the number of unknowns, number of unknowns are more than the available equations of equilibrium, okay? And therefore, we are going to be forced in this particular case to involve the friction equations. The third one is where we have impending motion at all all points at all uh, contacting points or surfaces in this particular case this again applies this uh, the number of unknowns this applies let me just copy it down so again here applies applies the number of unknowns are greater than the number of uh, the equations of equilibrium and here we are also forced to uh, invoke the friction equation so basically these are the types that we are going to be looking at so straight away let's start solving okay no so first things first let's draw the free body diagram so we have um we have the weight acting through the center of gravity g okay and uh let's say we have of course the friction has to be in the opposite direction of the applied force because this one it resists the movement of uh, the two contacting surfaces that slide relative to each other so our friction let's say it is somewhere there like so and then let's say we have our normal force somewhere there and then we have this distance here which we are going to say we don't know exactly so we have this distance x um this distance x Okay, so we have x, uh, we have f 
and then we have n right and then we have w cause w is already given is equal to 250 pounds um the number of unknowns uh well how many are they they are equal to one two three four so there are four and these are p x n and f and the number of equations of equilibrium are equal to three and because the unknowns are more than the number of equations of equilibrium we are going to be forced to use the friction equation okay so now let's start applying our equations of equilibrium so we'll say summation of forces in the x equal to zero okay what do we have we have the p a minus f equal to zero and we know that f is equal to mu n okay and we know that our mu s okay mu s of course mu s times n mu s is 0.4 and therefore this becomes equal to 0.4 uh, n so p therefore is going to be equal to uh, f p is going to be equal to f um, which is equal to 0.4 n mind you here this is in a case where we are experiencing impending motion so in this particular case we have the case where we have impending a motion at the contacting surface okay this is a case and that's the reason why we had to invoke the friction equation okay so then let's go to the summation of forces in the y equal to zero Uh, what do we have? We have N minus uh, W equal to equal to zero. Okay, right, and uh, therefore our N becomes equal to uh, W, which is equal to uh, what is our W250 right 250 okay pounds but we also calculated what P is we calculated what P is so from here we are saying our p is equal to uh, f which is equal to 0 0.04 n therefore p here will be equal to 0 0.4 uh, we have this n here so once we feed it in there then we have a 250 by 0 0.4 this is equal to hundred okay all right but we are not yet done let's take moments to check let's take moments to check the overturning let's take moments about this point let me call this point this point here let me call it b I call it B. Okay. 
So let's say summation of moments about point B equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. What do we have? We have a minus P by uh, 4.5 and then we have a uh, plus W by X equal to zero. Okay. Uh, so here we are saying we already have what P is that we calculated. We want to check the value of X. Okay. And we also have W which is equal to uh, 250 pounds. Our, our x here will be equal to uh, 4.5 p divided by w and our x therefore will be equal to if we did our calculation we have 4.5 by 100 divided by 250 so this gives us 1.8 feet all right so what does that mean uh look at this here uh, from uh, the center where we are taking i mean from the center here see we are taking moments uh from uh, about point b so w by x okay the maximum value of x okay is what look at this is what it's 1.5 from the center of gravity right so 1.8 is outside it is somewhere here it is outside somewhere here okay it means our force is outside it's going to be outside which is not possible okay so therefore since x equal to 1.8 feet is greater than feet is greater than our x max which is equal to 1.5 feet so we need to check therefore the value of p at x equal to 1.5 so let's check or calculate the value of p at x equal to 1.5 feet. The other question is what would happen if we applied this 100 pounds? If we apply the 100 pounds then it means our crate will do what? Will overturn it will move and we don't want it to move okay so therefore our 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 value of p therefore is going to be equal to um wx okay divided by 4.5 this is where x is equal to 1.5 feet and w is equal to uh, 250 pounds therefore our p is just going to be equal to that's 250 by 1.5 divided by 4.5 so we'll have 83.33 pounds therefore the maximum value of p that we can apply without causing this particular crate to overturn is 83.33 pounds. All right. So I think this is about it. Uh, this is the value of P that we need uh, to apply without causing the crate to overturn. Right. I hope this video was helpful. 
uh i hope this video is helpful so i'm saying this is the maximum value tool that will okay it's fine so we are saying this is the value of p that won't cause the credit to overturn okay so won't cause the credit to overturn okay this one will cause will cause the credit to overturn okay all right i think this is about it bye bye and uh see you in my next uh screencast